What is going on guys? Grave here today. We got a massive update for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles. There's a lot of patch notes with this, so I will link them down in the description if you'd like to read over them for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Now they have changed the way the game base works. Voice chats are now called parties, and for easier access, they've divided the game base into three tabs. Friends, parties, and messages. Now when you start a party, you can select either an open party or a closed party. An open party lets your friends join without an invite, and friends of those party members can also join in. A closed party is you know, kind of what it says. It is a party that is closed, and only players that you invite can join it. So this is the old PlayStation Party system that we all really enjoyed. When the new system that we've been using recently was added in, a lot of players were complaining they liked the old system better, and they have now added that old system back in. I did turn my PS5 on this morning to kind of check some of this stuff out. And I will say the system that we've been using over the last couple of years still seems to be in game. But I think for the most part, players are probably going to use that original party system now that it has been added back in. Because in my opinion, it is 10 times better than the one we currently have. From the game base control menu and cards, you can now access things like view all of your friends under the friends tab in the control menu, which is great. I, I, did, not, I did not really like the way that Sony had changed the way the friends list worked, especially here on the PS5. Uh, the start share play directly from your voice chat card. You no longer need to start a uh, share screen to use share play. You can add a player to a group or create a new group directly from the message card. You can also send video clips, images, quick messages, and view a, a group's shared media from this card. Now, when someone is in a party and is sharing their screen, you will see a C on the air icon. You can check this in the parties tab. The player search feature and friend request are now under the friends tab. They've also made it easier to decline friend requests by adding a decline button on your friends list. In accessibilities, when you've uh, kind of you know accessed that friends list, they've also updated uh, the following screen readers. The screen reader is now supported in six additional languages. The screen reader can now also uh, give you notifications. You can now enable mono audio for headphones. And while your headphones are connected, go to settings, sound, audio output, and then turn on mono audio in the headphones section. Or alternatively, you can go to settings and accessibilities and display sound and do the same thing. You also now show a check mark on enable settings so you can easily know when they're turned on. So it does not have that little slide bar anymore. If you actually have a setting on, it will have a check mark by it. A visual design of trophy cards and trophy list has been updated, and you also can see suggestions for which trophies to earn on a trophy uh, trophy excuse me tracker when you're playing a particular game. Also, some new features from the create menu. You can now start a share screen and stream your gameplay to an open party. They've also added a new feature, voice command preview. The voice command preview understands speech commands for finding and opening games and apps, as well as controlling. Uh, controlling media playback so it's pretty much just voice controlled to turn this on you go to settings voice command and turn on enable voice command preview and then call out hey playstation and ask your ps5 to do something also some other features they made the following improvements to the game library under your collection tab you can now filter your games by genre to find different games you want to play more quickly and they've also pinned playstation plus to the left edge of the game home screen and you can now redeem your PlayStation subscription there more quickly. I think that's a great thing too. I was not a big fan of how you had to access, you know, PlayStation Plus if you wanted to purchase it with the old dashboard that we had since PS5 has been out. They also made the console safer for child accounts. So if you have, a, uh, you know, a young child that plays, you can, you know, change a few things there, like viewing purchased or installed games or activity cards such as those displayed in the control center of the game hub won't be displayed for age restricted games. Also, now you can keep games or apps you choose on your home screen when focused on the game or app. Press the Options button to open the Options menu and select Keep at Home. The games that or apps you choose will keep or stay on your home screen. You can also keep a maximum of five games and apps on each screen or on each home screen. And you now have three more games and apps appearing on your home screen. This is another great thing. I like when they give us more options on PlayStation to kind of design our home screen, how we want to look and move things around. So this was a great feature or a great addition in my opinion. And last but not, li uh, not, last but not least, they have added uh, more emojis to like chat and things like that. They've changed the key, uh, keyboard layout for polish and they also updated the DualSense wireless controller device to improve stability. So today after you uh, download the update for PlayStation, you also have to kind of plug in your controller. If you have a PS5, I had to do this this morning myself and then it will update that controller as well. But these were some really great features, and Sony also mentioned one other thing that will be coming in the upcoming months, and that is 
uh, rolling out, of course, in a few months, a variable refresh rate for PS5s on a HDMI 2.1 compatible TV and monitor. So if you have a 2.1 compatible TV and monitor, they will have a variable refresh rate option in the coming months ahead. They said this is, of course, still being tested, but that will be something that will be out later down the road. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts about today's PlayStation update. Like I said, it was a great update. A lot of this stuff, of course, was for PS5, but PS4 did get some of these features as well. And I think a lot of this stuff was really good quality of life changes. A lot of changes to the, you know, just the game dashboard in general, a lot of changes to the party system. A lot of things that we liked in the past that Sony did, they're kind of bringing those things back. So hopefully we'll continue to get these good quality of life updates in the future. But like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.